Mid-Atlantic, the Amoka 6s now have better downwind conditions, making for fast sailing. This pleases Anna Corbea and Gerard Marin of Borgais. Navegando muy contentos porque llevamos unos días muy incómodos, con viento de través que el barco pues eh, se ha movido mucho, hemos dado muchos pantocazos y, y lo hemos pasado un poco incómodo y ahora vamos de popa con el espí con 15 nudos y, y estamos disfrutando muchísimo. Bueno, pues la verdad es que estoy bastante contento, ¿no? Porque estamos aquí todos muy pegaditos. Ha sido, bueno, un test bastante bueno. Es el primer entrenamiento largo que hacíamos con flota, con este barco. Y la verdad es que, bueno, aprendiendo muchas cosas. ¡Hasta pronto! On board Team Neutrogena, the conditions have allowed the crew to repair the rip in their mainsail. One side is okay. And uh, we have to wait when we dive uh, maybe tomorrow in the morning to repair the other side. But it looks well, it's not very strong, obviously, but uh, at, at least we don't see the damage with the patches. Uh, it looks okay. Uh, I hope it's not going to be a lot of uh, strong wind or reaching from the LPG lot that, so it's going to survive. Leading from the start, Mark Guillermo and Morgan Lagravier take some time to watch the sunset from on board Saffron. The atmosphere on board looks serene. Morgan Neuf, belle carte postale. Moi j'ai le droit à mes 2h30 de stage, tout va bien. Et puis, euh, ça faisait longtemps qu'on n'avait pas eu des conditions comme ça, mine de rien, parce que la verre plate et le bateau qui glisse, ça fait plaisir, ça n'a pas été tous les jours comme ça. Alors on en profite, on va à Banal. Il y a la, la lune qui se lève et le soleil qui se couche à l'horizon. Et tout ça en amoureux. Quoi. Competitors in the Amoka Ocean Masters New York to Barcelona race are now sailing close to a huge high pressure system established to their south. Yesterday we saw the fleet split with Saffron and Hugo Boss diving south while Team Neutrogena and Geist chose a more northerly option. When the two groups converged again overnight, Saffron and Hugo Boss were still ahead but only just. The second group had clearly gained ground. Just 30 miles separated first from last today compared to around 70 miles yesterday. The boats are now all sailing in the same direction at 15 knots and the weather conditions have become much more comfortable for the crews. But this won't last. The skippers have to make a decision about how to cross a band of light winds in a trough that is blocking their route to Gibraltar. The fight is far from over. La estrategia, primero, es, es mantenernos dentro de la flota, sobre todo, que no se nos escape. Tendremos que, en más de 24 horas, pasar una, una zona de poco viento que eh, tenemos que gestionar bien para que no se nos escape la flota. Pasar por el norte de Azores para ser, de momento, la opción más rápida para, para llegar a, al estrecho.